Hey everyone, I am continuing my old interesting children's books. This is called What Makes Day and Night by Franklin Branley. Um, it's published by Harper and Row. It isn't a revised edition, so it's not a first edition. As you can see on the copyright, it was first published in 1961. This is a 1986 edition, but it's called What Makes Day and Night. Let's get started. We all live on the earth. The earth is our planet. It is round like a big ball and it is spinning. It's hard to believe the earth is always turning because we don't feel any motion. This is because the earth spins smoothly, always at the same speed. This is a photograph of the Earth. It was taken by a camera aboard the Apollo 17 spacecraft. You can see that the Earth is round. If you were way out in space and watching the Earth, you would see it spin. The Earth spins around once in 24 hours. Light from the sun falls on one half of the spinning Earth. The half in the light has day and the other half is dark. It is in the Earth's shadow. That half has night. As the Earth spins, we move through the light into the darkness and back again. We have day and night. Imagine you are in a spaceship high above the North Pole. Imagine you can stay there 24 hours and watch the Earth make one complete turn. As the earth turns, we have sunrise, daylight, sunset, and night. People at A have sunrise. Up there. Later, because the earth is turning, they are at B. It is the middle of the day for them. It is noontime. As the earth turns, it carries them to C. They have sunset. By the time they reach D, it is the middle of the night for them. It is midnight. At the end of 24 hours, they have sunrise again. You can see how we move from daylight to darkness by doing an experiment. You will be the earth and a lamp will be the sun. Stand so that your left side is toward the lamp. Hold your arms out all the way. Your left hand points towards the lamp. This is sunrise. Stay in the same spot. Keep your arms out from your sides and turn to your left. Now the lamp is in front of you. It is the middle of the day. It is noontime. Keep turning until your right hands point towards the lamp. You are turning away from the light. It is sunset. Keep turning until your back is toward the lamp. It is night, but your back is in the daylight. Half of you is always light and half is dark. It's the same with the earth. The earth is always turning. It never stops. Round and round it goes, and it goes very fast. About a thousand miles an hour. As the earth turns, we are always moving from day to night and from night to day. You can see this happen. If you are awake very early, you can see sunrise. The earth is moving you toward the sun. The earth keeps turning. Later in the day, we begin to turn away from the sun. You can see sunset. About 24 hours after sunrise, the sun will rise again. It all happens because the earth is spinning around. As the earth turns, the sun seems to move across the sky. If you were on the moon, you would also have day and night, but the moon spins very slowly, so days and nights are long. 
Places on the moon have two weeks of daylight and then two weeks of darkness. During one night on the moon, the Earth spins around 14 times. The turning Earth gives us about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. That seems just about right for all of us on the planet Earth.